Well, to continue this discussion, let's bring in Tom Homan, former acting ICE director and a Fox business contributor who is currently in Arizona with a group of border area sheriffs. Tom, thanks for being with us. I want to get your reaction to the vice president's visit. Did anything good come of this, I ask again, or was it merely a photo op? It was absolutely a photo op. She had no intention of going to the border, but she was ashamed of it. I mean, President Trump has been more presidential on this issue than President Biden or Kamala Harris. I mean, she's at it because she wants to beat Trump to the board and President's going next week. And I, I was listening to Chad Rose's interview. He's right on. I mean, does she go to the line where the, where, 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 where the crossings happen? Does she talk to men and women in the front line? You know why she doesn't do that? Because she's going to hear the truth. She's going to hear the border walls work. We love the border wall. It, it, it cut down illegal immigration. And, the, and these thousands coming across now are coming through. There's not a wall. So why did you stop that wall, Kamala Harris? They're going to say they're coming through because it's a policy of the Biden ministry. The open border, you, you shut down all the Trump policies that were working, were effective. Illegal immigration down a historic 80%. It's vice president. Why did you stop those policies? Hmm. So that's why it's not going down. She doesn't want to see it. And that's why she didn't go to uh, RGB because she can't ignore that camp. But she should have talked to men and women on board yeah. to, okay, what works, what doesn't, what do you need? Tom, not going to the answers. Tom, we've got just a little distortion coming through in your voice. We can still hear what you're saying, but let me ask you this. You're, you're down in Arizona with border area sheriffs. What is their reaction to what they saw with the vice president's visit? Did, was it discouraging to them? How do they react to seeing their vice president make this visit to El Paso? They were insulted. They thought she should have went to where the, where, the, where the largest influx is, the epicenter of the chaos, and she didn't. They want to see her talking to the men when we are front line of what's causing this crisis and how we fix it. She didn't. So these are sheriffs. And look, it's just not about illegal immigration and sheriffs. I talked to one sheriff here today. He's already found 42 dead migrants hmm. in his county that, that died making this crossing. These sheriffs, this is about crime, right? Rising crime, more car chases, and more dead bodies. So they're very concerned about the condition of the border right now. Tom, you're going to be down uh, in the Rio Grande Valley with former President Trump next week. Can you tell us a little bit about what's on his agenda and what you think will come from that visit by the former president? I think, you know, I, well, I, I'll be there and uh, we're going to have a meeting with the governor and talk about how we how the governor can do what the federal government has failed to do. And part of that is going to build a wall because walls work. Walls save lives. We're going to talk about some other things you can do. Again, it, 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 the governor Abbott's a patriot. He's not only protecting the citizens of Texas by making these moves, he's protecting America because these border crossers, the fentanyl, the drugs, the criminals, they don't just stay in Texas. They're going all over the country. I've been there. I've seen the plane tickets. They're going all over the country. So I think we're going to talk to Governor Abbott about what he can do that the government, the federal government has failed him. Tom, that drug issue doesn't get nearly enough attention, and you're right, that doesn't just affect border areas. It makes its way throughout the country. We appreciate your perspective. Tom Holman, thanks so much. Thanks for having me.